I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fibre of my entire being. Together, we can make this world a much more harmonious place. How you doing today? So this video, for some people, will be a bit of a head twister. How can disease be an opportunity? Some people may ask. But disease is a wonderful opportunity. Most people would go into fear if they were diagnosed from a doctor with a so-called disease and possibly go into panic, think that their life is over and crumble from the inside out. But for those people that are spiritually aware and understand exactly what disease is, they would know that disease is a wonderful opportunity to bring to the surface and deal with those underlying emotions, beliefs, conditions, karmic, energetic delusions that are holding so many people back in this present reality. When you have a disease, it's just communication. It's communication from the body to say, hey, Jerry, listen up, brother. You need to look here or you need to look there. And if you don't, I'm going to get worse. I'm going to grow or I'm going to disable you slightly more until you do listen. And if you don't listen and continue on this path, I'm probably going to kill you or take over your body, wipe you out. So you have a choice. You can listen to this communication and act upon it and deal with what you need to deal with or you can run from it or stuff it back down and pretend it doesn't exist which is futile. Every single disease, injury, illness is linked to something else emotionally. Either from this reality, from childhood in this reality, from your teenage years in this reality, or possibly from another reality. Something some people would refer to as past lives, but they're not really past. There is no past, there is no future, there's only now. So really they're parallel, parallel realities. And there are a number of other parallel realities that your spirit, your soul, your essence, your light is living right now. Right now, in another space. Possibly on another frequency. Possibly in another dimension. But the fact of the matter is, things that are existing and coexisting within the same reality or multiple realities are having an effect on you or anyone else that's in this world, on this planet, right now. And when we have bad eyesight, or heart murmurs, or a tumorous growth, or a cyst, or a dodgy knee, our body is just screaming out to us and saying, come on man, listen, go deeper. Don't go to the doctors and mask the pain with some painkillers or go for an operation that will temporarily fix the problem. Deal with it yourself. You were designed, you were created to self here, your love, your light, your energy 
go beyond the physical, into the mystical, but very real aspect of your own reality, and deal with this shit, now. Because if you choose not to, it's not the disease that's going to cure you. It's not the injury or the illness that's going to disable you. It's your own self. It's you. You're the problem. You're the solution. You're the question. You're the answer. Is it the injury that creates the accident, or is it the accident that creates the injury? Is it the disease that creates the illness, or the illness that creates the disease? Is it the symptom that creates the problem, or the problem that creates the symptom? Everything is now. If everything is now, everything can be healed right now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next year. Not after three weeks of chemo, or three months of radiation, or a whole heap of steroids. But right now, my friends, if you have an ailment, a symptom, something come up on your body or inside your body, talk to it. Close your eyes, drop down into your heart, and talk to your body, talk to your knee, talk to your shoulder, talk to your heart, talk to your brain, talk to your fingers, talk to your bones, have a normal conversation with them, just like you'd have with a friend or a loved one, speak to them openly and honestly, be in your heart, listen and wait for the answer. And don't sit there and tell me that you can't hear anything. We are all psychic. We are all intuitive. We were born with these gifts. I'm no different from you. You're no different from me. We're no different from anybody else. We're all special. We're all unique. And we all have these abilities to tune in and connect. You've just got to be prepared to look, to listen, and to go where it's quite uncomfortable for your ego, because your ego doesn't want you to go to these places. Your ego wants you to be a small human being that goes to the doctors, that is dependent on medicine. And I'm not saying that doctors don't have their places and surgeons don't have their places, because they do. And I respect the good ones that are out there the ones that are doing a great job because some doctors and nurses and surgeons are saving lives. They're doing an incredible job. I take my hat off to you. But you, as a human being, can heal yourself. When there are serious road traffic accidents, yes, you may need some great paramedics and some great surgeons to stop the bleeding so you can self-heal. There's going to come a point in the not too distant future or the not too distant present when we can seal our own skin with our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our intention and unconditional love we're going to be able to observe our own reality and heal things so quickly. Even broken bones, even broken skin, even internal bleeding. I've been involved in road traffic accidents or the healing of clients from road traffic accidents where surgeons and paramedics have been instrumental but then the drugs that the clients were put on after were not. And then once I've come in and, and done what I needed to do, scans have taken place and the broken bones are not there anymore. How is that possible?
everything is now, baby. If you ever feel ill, if you know someone with a disease, a symptom, treat it like a game. Have a laugh about it. Talk to it. Ask it what it's trying to tell you or your friend or your loved one. Communicate with your own body. Go into it deeper and deeper and deeper. And as you ask the questions, sit in silence, sit in stillness, and watch and feel this stuff rise to the surface. You'll get visions, knowings of times earlier in this life or other realities that have caused this so-called problem. And you can bring it to the surface, observe it, communicate with it, and let it go. It may be uncomfortable, you may feel angry, you may feel sad. If you feel sad, you can cry. If you feel angry, you can shout and scream. If you feel happy, you can dance. These suppressed emotions, allow them to come to the surface and vent them, honor them. Let them go, my friend. They're better out than in. We've been taught for so long. We've been conditioned for so long that you shouldn't be too loud, that you shouldn't cry, that you shouldn't get upset, that you shouldn't be angry. So we suppress, we suppress, we suppress. Our spirit has done it for so long, over so many realities. Across so many lives. It's time to stop. It's time to know who you, my friend, truly are. And by using so-called disease as a tool to go deeper into your own self and unlock those mysteries from within that have caused suffering, that have caused pain, allowing them to come to the surface so you can free yourself once and for all this is the key. It takes a brave soul to journey deeper and deeper into an injury, an ailment or an illness, to really get to the root, to the deep core issue of whatever is happening in their life. Because it's not always pretty and it's not always pleasant. When you embark on a spiritual journey, you think, boom, I'm headed in that direction. But do you travel in that direction? No, you go up and round and you do loop the loop and then you go back and then forwards and then up and then down and then another five million trillion loop the loops. And it feels like you've gone nowhere. But in fact, you've gone so far. So far deep into your own cosmic hearts. Breathtaking beauty surrounds you. Your life, your energy field, it expands in so many ways. but often you can't see them because you're looking into this external reality for the answers. But deep down inside is where it all lies. And disease is a direct communication, a signpost to send you in one direction only. And that direction is in. Not out, not up, not down, not back, not left or right, but in, 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 into your heart deeper and deeper and deeper my friend disease is an opportunity disease is a lifeline disease is beautiful but your head will never allow you to see that to know that to feel that but something else will. Your heart. Your heart. Your loving, deep, and eternal cosmic heart. Journey in, my friends. I love you so much. I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fibre of my entire being. 
please subscribe to this YouTube channel now. Share these videos with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones. Together we can make this world a much more harmonious place. Teamwork is the key, baby. My brother, my sister, we're one family. One love, one heart. One human family, one cosmic family, one extraterrestrial family. Bonded by love. Thank you for watching, thank you for sharing. I'll see you again very, very soon. One love.